Alright, sorry for not bringing a video for a while. Just been kind of uh, chilling out today actually and uh, started a few videos but uh, just got this one through. I think it's important. Um, just encourage you to sign the petition. I might do it myself. Uh. I'm Megan Murphy for the Huffington Post. The official magazine for Jehovah's Witnesses is under investigation for possibly violating religious hatred laws. The Telegraph reports the July edition of Watchtower reportedly warned followers to avoid false teachers, which it condemned as being mentally diseased. Okay, let's just... Um just talk about that briefly. Um, the Watchtower, whose teachings uh, have actually caused um, farmers to stop planting crops back at the turn of last century, um, you know, the, the 19th century um, to the 20th century, um, when Charles Taze Russell um, was indoctrinated by uh, the Millerite cult and uh, they failed to predict Jesus coming and uh, he actually continued um, in these failed predictions um, so as far as mental illness goes I think that um, Watchtower people perhaps are at the top of that list and yet our society continues to tolerate them even though uh, the, the JWs were actually banned in Scotland uh, quite a few decades ago and they're banned from cold calling actually in most areas in the nation of Scotland today. And that phrase prompted an outcry from former members. Digital Journal reports Watchtower is distributed around the world, but it was in England where complaints were raised. Police have opened an inquiry following complaints to determine if the magazine breaches British religious hatred laws. A former member of the religious group tells The Independent many former and practicing members take issue with the practice of shunning. The way scripture is being used to bully people must be challenged. If a religion was preaching that blacks or gays were mentally diseased, there would be understanding outrage. But according to Newser, a rep for the church says it's okay for members to ask questions about their faith. If a person changes their mind about Bible-based teachings they once held dear, we recognize their right to leave. Ex-members are all... Okay, also Charles Taze Russell didn't have any biblical grounding. Um, he was in the Presbyterian church, I think. Um, he had no biblical grounding. He didn't actually believe in the Bible. And that's why I had to basically uh, take on a different translation later when this was actually done by Westcott and Hort. So uh, just please keep that in mind. Uh, the Jehovah Witnesses are not Christian at all uh, in, in their uh, application, beliefs or conviction. So considering making a complaint to the Charity Commission since the company that prints the magazine is a registered charity. For the Huffington Post, I'm Megan Murphy. Very interesting. Well, if you want to sign the petition, there it is. I'll leave the link at the bottom. Thanks for watching.